that accounting is different from other disciplines that they have studied in the past. Most successful accounting students develop a set of study habits that they follow weekly to stay on top of the new skills they are learning in the course. So, where does your accounting textbook fit into this? It may be helpful to think of your textbook in a new way. Your textbook is unlike a novel or a book that you read from beginning to end. Think of your accounting textbook as a learning toolkit. This video will introduce you to the ways that you can use this learning toolkit to your advantage. By the end of this video, you will be familiar with the features of your accounting textbook. You will also be able to make a plan to study effectively using the resources available to you. The first section of a textbook chapter you'll want to know about are the learning objectives. Learning objectives tell you what you need to be able to do by the time you have finished studying a chapter. Read these first to preview the topics that you will encounter. Use this list of learning objectives as you study to keep track of what you already know and what you still need to learn and practice. You'll notice that your textbook refers to the learning objectives at different places in the chapter. You will see the abbreviation LO with a number beside the exercises and problems in your text. This helps you to quickly figure out which learning objective a particular problem is meant to help you learn. For example, if you are still working to master learning objective 2, you will want to focus your energy on the reading and problems related to that learning objective. This strategy helps you to plan and monitor your learning to use your time well. You'll find the summary of learning objectives at the end of the chapter, but that doesn't mean that you need to wait until you've read the whole chapter to read this section. You may find it helpful to read the summary before you start reading the rest of the chapter. This will give you an overview of what you are about to learn. You'll read it a second time once you've worked through the rest of the chapter in order to review and reinforce your learning. When you begin studying a new subject area, it can feel like learning a new language. Like any new language, in order to understand well, you need to learn the vocabulary. Your textbook highlights key terms in bold letters, and you'll find these words again in a glossary at the end of the chapter. Use the glossary as a starting place for your vocabulary learning. To get the most out of your vocabulary learning, write the definitions in your own words in order to clarify your understanding. This is much more helpful than simply memorizing. Now, it's time to read your textbook. A good strategy is to look at the learning objective at the beginning of the section and to write some questions that you want to answer by reading. Then, read purposefully to find the answer. Summarize your answer briefly in your own words. To make sure that you have understood what you have read, take time to complete the exercise called Before You Go On or Do It. By taking time to do this question, you will confirm whether you have understood the section well. Remember, in accounting, the true test of learning is whether you can su successfully complete the problems and exercises in the textbook. Begin with the problems assigned by your instructor. After you have finished these problems, take note of any areas that are still difficult for you. Think back to the learning objectives. Are there any that you still haven't mastered? Do some extra practice problems to master the objectives that are still challenging for you. Remember, reading through the problems is not enough. You need to practice each kind of problem until you can do it well. You may also want to do some online exercises. These can give you immediate feedback on whether your answers are correct or incorrect and can help you determine what you should study more. Now that you know more about how to use your textbook as a learning tool, the next step is to make a weekly self-study plan. 
Plan to read your textbook before each class to get the most benefit and allow plenty of time for practice exercises each week.